Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on a telegram channel called Antiquity Research Archive. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of <laughs> the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Black Mirror, also known as Speculum Sign Macula. This appears to be an extremely obscure subject. This mirror has been depicted for centuries. Only it is depicted as black. Artists in recent times always draw mirrors either realistically or to the overall color of its surroundings to emulate the actual behavior of mirrors. Depicting a mirror as black raises some red flags. It implies that it is not a mirror. The black mirror was an object that appeared to be very dark when inactive and showed something quite interesting when active. Looks like you can see through it into other black mirrors. This object is repeatedly shown in old world art in the same fashion. What is the mainstream excuse for mirrors being depicted like this? These objects are obviously seen as divine or sacred and they are shown to be the center of attention in many cases. Why is the mainstream so quiet on this subject? And for the love of God, let me know if you have more information on this. Keep in mind, there were mirrors made out of obsidian a long time ago, but my suspicion is raised when I see them obviously not reflecting what is right in front of them. He is a goldsmith in his shop, possibly Saint Eligius 1449. This is the most obvious. Not a single part of the room is reflected on this mirror. It is a projection of a different location. Wikipedia's information on the mirror is just sad. They go on about all this stuff in the painting, then they say, oh yeah, there's this mirror here too, with zero mention of the logic behind what is displayed in it. Another thing to note about the projection is the angle. If we are to entertain the idea of an old world security camera, where is the second mirror on the other side? Is it on a building? Is it on a moving cart? Why is the angle of the mirror on the other side cutting off the lower bodies of the people projected in them? It appears to have been hanged at such an angle, so the viewer can see all the way to other side of the street. I heard from people about the idea of them being teleporters. Not on board with that. My main theory is that black mirrors function like this. You had a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter was black, the receiver was clear, or just clear. You can look through the clear mirror, and you would see what the black mirror sees. Think of it like an old world security camera. The king would hang these black mirrors around in important locations, and he would be in his throne, looking through them with his own clear mirrors, to see what his people were doing. Also worth noting, that even if you are on the black side, or the side being viewed, you might be able to faintly see someone looking at you. If the oligarchs were to use one thing to safely communicate, black mirrors would be the way to go. However, this may also be used to view someone with no risk or repercussions. 
Think of how many black reflective surfaces you have in your house that have at least some resemblance to the black mirror, your phone and TV screens for instance. Funny to think about. I heard a while ago, about the idea, that you can use a TV screen as a camera, just like how you can use your speakers as a microphone. I might speak on that soon. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Anyway, a good strategy to conceal advanced technology, whether that be recent or ancient, is to portray them in sci-fi shows and movies. Portraying absurd technologically advanced universes in movies puts the viewer in a state of disbelief, and when this state is achieved, essentially all technology presented is immediately dismissed in the mind as fantasy. So, one can then present concepts like energy weapons, sound cannons, stone or metal disintegration, and levitation, and the typical viewer would dismiss them right away as fantasy, saying, that can't be real, I saw it in Star Wars. As a result, one could shut down 99% of possible debate on the concept just by slipping it into a place full of non-fiction. No one would have even the slightest idea of its reality. That way, when certain intellectuals introduce the idea of giants, or God, forbid free energy, the natural instinct of the indoctrinated is to dismiss them regardless of the validity or evidence put forward. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.